I'm here at the Dovecot Studios in Edinburgh where we're seeing the finishing touches to these magnificent tapestries uh, that will form part of the exhibition that's taking place in the Scottish Parliament um, which will show the two letters that are connected with William Wallace. These are the only two documents that we know have a direct connection to William Wallace, a kind of iconic Scottish hero and so they have a very very special place I think in Scotland's history linking us back to those times, very very difficult and a warlike times for Scotland but on the other hand very formative and very important. We wanted to give a new perspective, a new, a new item to, to see and so we felt that tapestry was a really imaginative, innovative way of, of rendering um, something from, from, from old historical documents. Dovecote Studios has been weaving tapestry now for a hundred years uh, but they're using skills that have been passed down for over thousands of years. It's the same process that our master weavers have used now to create these tapestries as might have been used over four, four thousand years ago and certainly in the 1300s, the 14th century, tapestry would have been a very familiar medium to the scribes who wrote these two letters. It's the first um, commission I've worked on properly, um, working alongside David the master weaver and Emily the other apprentice. We'll draw up a cartoon which is kind of traced from the original design that will be blown up and um, placed onto the, the back of the warps here and drawn on as a kind of guide of what we're going to be working towards. There's also colour choosing involved, so we'll um, create a sample strip which aims to kind of uh, map out all the different colours that we might be using. And then once you actually begin the weaving, all these guides are already in place, but there's also a certain amount of sort of um, tweaking and um, creativity that goes on just in the actual process. Dovecote has been a creative ambassador and a cultural ambassador for Scotland for 10 decades now, so particularly exciting to have worked on this project. These are really significant letters, but to have the representation of these beautiful tapestries uh, that have the, the light and the shade and the flow of the writing, I think will be a, a huge part of the exhibition, which will be taking place in August at the Scottish Parliament. So I hope people will come and see the tapestries, learn more about their history in Scotland and see these two invaluable letters.